Hello, nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in nerddom gaming edition for the week of July 30th, 2018. This week gaming is going to be short, just like movies was, so let's just jump into the news already. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Very interesting thing coming right out the gate. We're talking about Metal Gear 5, The Phantom Pain. Yes, I know, that game came out three years ago. Why are we talking about it? Because they just updated it with a new playable character. Now you can play as Quiet in that game. Uh, why would they update this? Well, she has her own unique set of abilities and moves and so on and so forth, so they're expanding one of their best games ever. And their foray into the Metal Gear world by themselves really left everyone with a horrible taste in their mouth. Um, so why why wouldn't they go back to the version that Hideo had his hands in and try and capitalize a little bit more on Metal Gear? And very likely what they're trying to do is they're trying to experiment with uh, gameplay in the Metal Gear universe so that they can try and do another Metal Gear game and this time make a good one. Uh, I don't know how likely that is without Hideo, but it's worth a shot. I just hopefully you're not poking things with a pole forever and ever in the next one. Eh. Next this is a little bit of a somber note. Uh, if, it's worth noting, this is another uh, instance where we're talking about YouTube stuff because it's about gaming stuff. Um, but it's it's about the game theorists. Uh, they lost their main editor, Ronnie Edwards. Uh, on the 4th of July, they just announced his death on their channel. Um, the only reason I'm really bringing this up, I, I really dig the theorist channels, the game theorists, the uh, movie theorists, and the TV theorists, and all that stuff. I really, really, really love those channels. And their editing style is due largely to Ronnie, apparently, and he he took his own life on the 4th of July, a link to the video where they where the uh, creator of the channel, I can't remember their creator guy's name right now, but uh, his the voice, the voice of all of the theorist channels, you know the voice, uh, that guy, he's talking about what, he's he's remembering the good times with Ronnie, and, and you can find, if you need help, it is not a sign of weakness, find a link or you can find the 800 number uh, on the screen right now. There's all. It's also down in the description. Uh, just, there's no reason for that. There's no reason why. There's 100% an avoidable death. And it's just heartbreaking when it happens like that. So, I we're not going to spend too much time on this. Just, if you need help, absolutely if you need help, there is somebody out there who is going to talk to you. Uh, again, 800 number is down on the screen right now. Next up, we are talking about Nickelodeon kart racers. Uh, this is a thing I don't understand why it took them this long to make. Uh, so game production company Game Mill is making an all-star racer with Nickelodeon characters. So it's SpongeBob, the Nickelodeon version of the Ninja Turtles, the Rugrats, all of those. And for all intents and purposes, they could do like Ah Real Monsters, Hey Arnold, all of those classic Nicktoons in a kart racer. And it's only gonna be 40 bucks. So, yes please, I, 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 why not? This is going to be out on all three of the big, all three, I can count, all three of the big systems, Switch, PS4, Xbox One, on October 23rd. Even if it's bad, it's only 40 bucks and you can say you played as all four Ninja Turtles and kick SpongeBob's ass. I mean, it's worth it just for that, right? And then our last bit of news has to do with the next Xbox system. So we got all kinds of rumors for the PS5 in the last 
in the previous months. This is our first big rumor for the Xbox Scarlet. That is the code name for the next Xbox system. What its uh, production name is going to be, we still don't know. What we do potentially know is this. <clears throat> what we do potentially know is that there are likely going to be two versions of this console. Now, there are two versions of the Xbox One. We know this. There's the Xbox One and the Xbox One X. Technically, the Xbox... Xbox One S is not a different version of the console. It's the same hard, same as the original hardware. It's just been condensed, so it's smaller. The X has new hardware, but still plays the same games. This is not going to be a, the same situation. Similar in that they're both going to effectively play the same games, but the regular Xbox Scarlet is going to play physical discs. It's going to be a traditional console. And there is going to be a Xbox Scarlet Cloud that is not going to have physical media. It is just going to be for streaming, which is going to be very interesting. And again, this is total rumor. I can't. There is no. There's no Microsoft announcement on this. This is just potential leaks. Um, it seems that they're going to try and model all of their games in, in a subscription-based model. So it'll be something akin to Xbox Live and the uh, Game Pass models. Um, speculated to be 2020, so all of that stuff about 2019 for PS5, if that's actually the, the case, um, then Xbox is going to miss that launch date by about a year. Uh, I feel like 2020 is a more logical choice for a release time, but we won't know until it happens. That is the end of this week's gaming episode, guys. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down below. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you can get all the freebies and all the links to the social medias, and everything is starts on generallynerdy.net, so go check it out. Uh, you can also find links to everything down in the description of this video. If you want to help the channel, you want to support the channel more directly, check out patreon.com slash generally nerdy four tiers the lowest tier is just a dollar and i double your content for that dollar so check it out patreon.com slash generally nerdy that is the place to go if you're new to this channel though click that subscribe button if you like the episode click the like button if you are falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up click or tap the box right there to the left of my face to do that but before we go guys always always remember that if it's generally nerdy it's probably here.